so we're just gonna drive around and make a little noise. There it is, click clunk. Clunk. Oh, well, the windows suffer the heat for a second. You'll hear it go click clunk, click clunk. There's the next little dip section here. People hidden behind these cars. And then like when I let off the brake there, go to the dip there, clunk clunk. I've done all the uh, most all the front end bushing and inner outer tie rod up. I mean most of the units are up though. We're gonna be there you go, this whole time we're gonna just be so I figured it out, figured out what it is, and we're going to be solving that problem today, which will be nice. And uh, I'll let you in on everything in just a minute. Alright, so my prize is underneath this. Anyone can guess at this point what this is about? Probably in the goddamn title by now, but hell. So, I got that guy to remove. And this got to remove. Ooh, where are you? There you are. Now you can do you know, Phillips or a 10 mil. I suggest 10 mil. Yeah, one, two. Undo this. Undo right here. Breather for the top at the top of the motor. And then there are one. You can see down there. Two, there you are, you dark SOB. Right there, my finger's landing on it. Those are the two to get the box out. It has a dowel pin underneath it. Leave these clipped on. I've already removed these, right? Because I've already actually figured out what this was before I did this video. So you undo these ones, they're simple. Clip, grab these on the side, pinch them in, push them out. They're really easy. They snap in here and here. They're just undone. So the first thing to do is undo this. If you can. If you have very thick, weak hands, my left hand's not so good. Oh, let's try again. It's also in an unnatural position. It's almost like these are made with left hand, right hand things. Just give a little wiggle side to side. But, well. She doesn't want to comply. Undo this, undo those, undo this hose, undo those. That's what that's what you'll see in just a minute done. And it's pretty straightforward, just move things around, think about what you're doing, and obviously I'm undoing this, this, then this. So moving forward. Okay. Airbox hose. I actually left that clip on last time I removed it from that. But uh, I have this bar in here, which anyone with an Outlander, I suggest you get such a thing, strut tower bar. Uh, this because this is a monocoque frame, and it just needs as much structural integrity help as possible. And this one was for the money, better steel instead of those like flat pieces. It's actually solid weld with a nice, nice welding job, in my opinion. And that's, uh, performance enhancer. So what we're doing is we're off of here, right? We're looking down here and down deep in there, right through that hole is our, what we're actually looking for. Okay. So you haven't figured out by now, this is the motor mount for the transmission. And it connects in here via four places and then another point. So I'm actually going to do myself a favor and I'm going to undo this bracket here that's holding this, uh, which holds the airbox peg that I peg that I uh, mentioned earlier. And that's where the one screw and the other screw go. I'll go here, bolt. But basically, I'm just going to pull things out of my way. Looks like there is. A clip 
to this. But I'm betting that if I undo that one, that one, and that one, I'll be ahead of the game. It'll be easier to access down there and see it too. So I unclipped one clip there and I did the one, two, three screws that hold this in place. The clip over there, I'm just leaving it in place. Because as soon as I can just see what I need to get to and reach it, which are one, two, and there's a little hidden one right there, three, four, and then there's a fifth bolt that goes all the way through here. I'm thinking releasing the transmission from here and then undoing this one um, to relieve the tension off of it. Probably do kitty corner, um, here, corner, there, corner, corner, turn, or something like that. But not do all of them. Don't, don't just completely drop. See how, how much of the transmission actually just drops down because I might need to jack it back up to reattach those. So we'll see. So again, just this guy. Unclip the one here, undid all of the bolts, and just push it out of the way, get those ones, push it back, get that one in the corner. Okay, so <clears throat> I actually have all four of the lower guys off. What I'm going for is the uh, the final guy right here, but this, this is just too much in my way and it's stupid filthy anyways. So it, I couldn't undo it with the corrosion, so I just went back here, and this is the order it went like this, and then the nut. Cut. Oh, Jesus, don't do that to yourself. Um, I'm gonna put up here with all the other guys, but a little separate. And so it's a stack of big guy with its, its one. The rounded one was on top of this. And then the last wiring that goes on there. So that just separated my battery from these three wires. And now she's out of my way. I'm going to undo this guy. Feels like. Clip, clip, clip. And she's out of my way. And I'm reaching down there for that guy. Just too much in my way. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to undo this plastic. Okay. So the plastic's gone. Have my access Oops. to this bolt here, which removes this from that. Oh, you know what? <laughs> you sound bitch. Uh, that's right. So I actually have to figure out getting it up and off of those pegs, right? Right there. So I'm gonna hope that undoing this gives me enough up and down to pull up. And out of here and that's why all this is out of the way so I can go up and out of that spot and replace this bushing to the transmission of the all-wheel drive XLT so that's this is what we're doing and uh, let's undo that guy and see where we go